Hi, this is Dr. Jenny and I'm going to show you how to uh, work with an issue that you'll get when you try to do the uh, calendar table to enable time intelligence function on page 246. As you can see, this is an error message that one of the students sent me. It says the table has already been added to the data model and a table can only be added once. And One of the things I want to uh, point out is right down here at the bottom of the screen, uh, you'll see where it has uh, a little lock here. I'm um, trying to point to it, but it's where it says SLS and it's got a little link and calendar's a link. So you know that data table has already been added. So because the author did that, you may have difficulty doing this and I'm going to show you how to fix that. So let me get this off of the screen. And what we have here on uh, the screen is a blank uh, workbook as well as the uh, chapter 10 data model that they provide us. And so what we have here is the date, rep, and sales and that's what we want to copy is the date, rep, and sales. So I'm just going to uh, go like that and I'm going to do control C. But when I come over here to uh, this I'm going to go ahead and choose a pasting feature that just basically brings it over um, without um, as you can see it's not a table and that's important. Now I'm going to go ahead and going back to this one I'm going to get out of it totally and close it uh, because you don't want to even have that open. And then uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, name this table by doing the control T and it'll come up here with um, you know that's the name of my table and I'm going to call this one I'm going to call it sales uh, S-A-L-E-S. -E and that's so you can see you don't actually have to use SLS in the workbook but you this way you, you're not going to get anything uh, confused. And then once I've done that if you you can go ahead I usually uh, name this sheet I'm going to name it sales and then I'm going to uh, do like the book says I'm going to go copy the date here uh, just do control C and go to a new worksheet and copy that in and then I'm going to um, at this point I can remove the duplicates. Um, you should get the same uh, 240 duplicate error uh, value and so on and now now that you you know this is the one we're going to build that we're going to call calendar and you can build it just like um, it has in the textbook where it's got uh, I believe it's weekday and so on and once you uh, have this now when you go in and you add your your weekday and all this and you get ready to do the uh, power pivot and go through the steps it's not going these are not added to each other so you're going to be able to add to the data model and do the part that's in the calendar. So I'm hoping this will help you um, and if uh, you have any difficulty let me know. Thank you.